Hey guys, I'm the math professor Kyle Martin. In this video, we're going to be asked to find the following if functions f and g are defined as 3x plus 4 for f, f of x, and for g of x is 2x minus 3. All right, so our first uh, one, we have eight of these. Our first one is f plus g of x. Um, and so what I'm gonna have to do is take my f of x, I'll write this out for this first one, uh, is 3x plus 4, and then just add it to the other one. Uh, 2x minus 3. Okay, 2x minus 3. It's a terrible 4. And what I get here is just combine like terms, I get 5x uh, plus 1. Okay, 5x plus 1. Uh, for f minus g of x, uh, same idea, I'd still take my f of x, 3x plus 4, but this time it's minus the g, so in parentheses I'll put minus my g of x, 2x minus 3, and if I distribute this negative through, this gives me 3x plus 4 minus 2x plus 3. So this combines to be uh, x, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is x plus 7. What about f times g of x? f times g of x, letter c here. Well, write this out again, 3x plus 4, and then times the quantity 2x minus 3. This one we're gonna have to foil or distribute twice. We get uh, 3x times 2x is 6x, 6x squared, excuse me. Uh, 3x times negative three is negative 9x. Four times 2x is positive 8x. And four times negative three is negative 12. Combine your like terms, so you get 6x squared uh, minus x minus 12. Okay, and then uh, letter D, f of, or f divided by g of x. All you really have to do is put your f of x, 3x plus four over your g of x, 2x minus three. Okay, and there's really no other simplifying that can happen in this one, so that is the answer. All right, now you'll notice in these next four, f plus g of three, this one's f minus g of four, this one's a two, this one's a one. We just have some numbers in here, but we've already done kind of the hard math. We've, we've done our f plus g of x, so what I can do is now take this answer and plug in three for the x, and that'll give me uh, the desired outcome. All right, so five times three now, in fact, I'll do it like this, five times three plus one, 15 plus one is 16. I'm not gonna use equal signs there, let's use 16. F minus g of four, well again, f minus g gave me x plus seven, so now instead of x, I'm gonna do uh, four plus seven, putting that inside the blank. Four plus seven, of course, is 11. F times g of two, well, we know f times g of x was six x squared, let's see, six x squared minus x. Notice I'm using open parentheses for where I wanna put the x, because that way, when I instead of x, if I wanna put the two in, I can just replace my open parentheses with a two. So two squared is four, four times six is 24, uh, minus two minus 12. 24 minus two is 22, and 22 minus 12, of course, is 10. Write that off to the side there. And then last one, f over g of one. Well, f over g of x was three x plus four over two x minus three. So let's see here, three, blank plus four over two blank minus three, two blank minus three. In those blanks, I'm putting a one. Three times one is three, plus four is seven. Over two minus three is negative one. And of course that simplifies to be negative seven. All right, so there you have it. Given f of x and g of x, we found these eight different functions.